My name is Artist Nicole, and I own Artful Nights Maine. You guys, look at that. Ooh, look at that. We're going to be happy tonight, everybody. <laughs> All right, so welcome, you guys. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, um, ooh, looks like those scammers are in full force tonight, you guys. God, they were attacking me about an hour ago. Don't click any of those links, okay? Because they'll steal your credit card. We don't want that. So, welcome. My name is Artist Nicole, right? For those of you that don't know me, I'm Cuckoo for Cocoa Pops, all right? Cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. I love everybody. Uh, when I use my phone, sometimes I can't see your little, uh, what do you call those things? Your little comments. And I've been double dipping today because you guys are my second show. But I like that. It seems to work out better. <laughs> my rules are simple. You guys eat, you drink, you have an absolutely fabulous time at home. Yeah, drink some more. And then, oh, wow, there's a lot of those scammers. You guys, are, you guys are just crazy. It says there's no sound. Let's see here. Let me see if I turn that up a little. There. Here we go. Hello from Minnesota. Hello, Cheryl Bergeron. Hello, Jessica Pierce. Hello, Lynn Carey. I love that. Hiya. Happy Sunday to you, Kim Styles. Um, so, yeah, at home, you eat. You drink, you have a fabulous time, you're good to yourself, and my rules are simple, there are no rules. So what I mean by that, you little whippersnappers, is I mean that if that creative stink bug jumps right up, out it, mm, all right, and you guys decide you're going to go rogue on me, you want to do something totally different, then you go for it. Because art is what makes your heart happy. There's no right or wrong. Nope, no, nope, no. Right? No rules. Yeah. That's what I like. Okay. So, now this is a deal with this painting. Okay? Two things. You guys are going to want to grab your hair dryer if you don't have that Highland carry. And you guys are going to want to, like... What I did here is I did this with this beautiful blue background. Can you see how we marmalize that? All right. But if you guys want to do a purple background, if you want to do a green background, if you want to do a, a fuchsia background, okay, you pick your favorite colors that are going to make your heart happy. All right. That's it. That's all you got to do. Okay. So let's do it. Let's do it. We're doing it. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're painting the bee. Painting the bee. <laughs> <laughs> and you know me, I cookie. Two shows later, I get a little cookie. So, what we're going to do first, everybody, we're going to pour our paints, okay? So, for the blue background, okay, what you're going to do, you're going to take your little happy paint plate, all right? And I am going to go, I'm going to go about a teaspoon of that your favorite blue all right so we'll go about a teaspoon all right yeah, teaspoon and a half maybe tablespoon of your favorite blue and then what we're gonna do for this little print thing is you guys are gonna give about a tablespoon of white there is a lot of white in this painting okay so we're gonna do about a tablespoon of white and right in the corner, I'm going to have you put this much white. Now, why? That's a clean white, all right? We're going to have a dirty white, which is the big pile, right? And then you have the Nikki White fight fight. And then we're going to have our clean white, which is going to stay in that small pile, all right? Now, what you're going to need? You're going to need a little orange, because aren't you glad you had orange? And you're probably going to need about a half a teaspoon of that. Not much. All right? Just a little. Okay? And then for the yellow, we are going to do about, eh, we'll do about a teaspoon of yellow. And we're going to do black. Tiny bit of black. Not much. All right? We'll do about a half a teaspoon of black. And then, you guys 
are going to do about a half a teaspoon of brown. And that's it. Oh, my gosh. Can you believe it? Buzzy, buzzy, buzzy. <laughs> when you're all finished, your paint plate's going to look like this. So we got blue. Oh, crap. I forgot the green. Am I? All right. I didn't leave myself much space. So, on a second paint plate, because <laughs> you guys probably aren't like me. You probably knew there was green in there. You didn't have a little brain fart. Okay, so on your second paint plate, you're going to add some green. All right? <laughs> but keep it on your first paint plate because you probably didn't put a little swamp village like I did. So we have all of these colors. Now, this green is a very light, what I like to call horny green. Okay, well, horny green. Uh, Kermit Frog green. M&M green. So most of the commercial greens are a little bit darker. But if you guys want to add a little bit of yellow to that, you take yellow, you squirt in your commercial green, make it nice and light, maybe a couple drops of white, you too can make a horny green. Okay? Now who's ready? I know I'm ready. We're doing it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Whatever you do, all I'm seeing is scam links, you little happy people. But I love ya. Okay, I always use three brushes. All right, so we got the big brush right here. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, it smells good. And we got the medium brush, okay? I always like to use flat ones. Maybe you like a round one, right? Maybe you like Shrek. <laughs> but we have a nice, soft, medium brush. And then you're going to use your detail brush. Now, for all of my paintings, this is what I use. Easy peasy. Everybody can get them. We're keeping it simple. That's what we like to do, okay? I got to post my tip thing. You guys, hold on. Like I said, don't be looking up my nose or in my eyeballs, okay? There's that. And let's see here. Oh, oh, okay. Now, you guys, if you want to leave a tip, I am absolutely happy if you do not have it, okay? That's okay, too. You guys, if you don't have to tip me, this is about bringing joy to you people across the world while we have, you know, a little stinky COVID, okay? So, you are my sunflower. Oh, I miss you, Betty Cameron. Patricia Puss. Oh, how you doing, baby? All right, now let's get this party started. So the first thing you guys are going to do, okay, I'm going to have everybody pick up their big boy. And tonight, I'm thinking, we're going to call this one Pooh. <laughs> Not that kind of poo. No, but Pooh Bear, right? Pooh Bear likes his honey. And who makes honey? Bees. So we're going to call him Pooh. Good Pooh, all right? <laughs> And what we're going to do with our good poo, okay, we are going to, we're going to use a fun little technique, all right? I don't follow traditional techniques because I'm not a traditional kind of girl, all right? But, whoops, oh, don't drop your paint plank, oh, that would be bad. You ever see, you ever see that Dixie commercial? All right, so you're going to grab your poo, and the first thing that, every time I say pick up your poo, you know what I'm talking about. First thing you're going to do. Okay, we're going to take one side of that poo and we're going to dip it in blue. And then what we're going to do on the other side is, now this is your dirty white, we're going to dip this in white. So you've got blue, white, blue, white. Okay, and what you guys are going to do, now this is fun, especially if you're having a hard day or you're having a hard day at the office, we're going to take this sucker and we are going to slap it. We are going to play it like a drum. Look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> you guys can even play music to it, okay? This is so much fun. Take that canvas in your hand and slap it like it's hot. Okay, look at this. Ooh, ooh. I know, I play, I'm a drummer too. In my other life. Well, I got I got about 10,000 lives. But, and one of them, I'm a drummer. Okay? 
So what you guys are going to do is you are just going to take that brush and you are going to slap that canvas like your mother made it, okay? If it's getting too gummy on you, too white, all right, you can take that brush and give it the poke, right? Give it the poke. Poke it, poke it, ooh, poke it, smoke it, okay? And what you guys are going to do, <laughs> don't smoke it, okay? <laughs> is you guys are going to cover the whole canvas this way. All right, and why I love this technique, there's no right or wrong, okay? I don't really know what it's called, I call it the poke, all right? But what it does is it marbleizes that paint. It gives you a background that's kind of fun and interesting. Can you see that? It's the slap happy poke technique, <laughs> okay? And if you're feeling like, ooh, Look at that, Nicole. Oh, it's starting to look just a little. Then you grab a little bit of your darker color or your lighter color, and you bring that right in. Now, you can slap it like this, okay? You can slap it like, slap it like it's hot. Or what you can do is you can hold your brush like this, okay, and poke it just like that. And either way, I just want you to play around with that and have fun. Okay, I put a little white in there, all right? And you are gonna give this sucker the hokey pokey until you're ready to stand up and turn yourself around. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but can you guys see? All right, and I'm turning my brush in all different directions. All right, I'm turning it around like a little brown cow on Sunday. Oh, that's right, said the brown cow. Turning it around like I do one. Uh, see, look at my brush. I'm taking it. I'm poking it like this. I'm going like this. I mean, there is no right or wrong on this, okay? You guys are just going to get that paint in there, and the paint is going to do all the work. It's going to come out. It's going to be all swirly-durly. It's going to be marbleized, all right? And I know some of you are like, Nicole, I don't know that I can do this. This is really funky. That's all right. Art's funky. Okay, so you guys just get right in there and give her some love. Okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to do your whole canvas like that. All right, here we go. There you go. Oh, I got the other paintings over there. So probably not, probably not get them all cockas. All right, we don't want any blue up our cardinal's nose. All right, so there we go. Look at that. Bonsoir. Yes. Ooh. And what this technique does, okay, is it tends to make your paint a little thick. That's why where that, that hair dryer is going to be critical. All right, so here we go. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Poke it. Poke it. <laughs> poke it. Joke it. Make up a little song as you're poking, right? Oh, this is supposed to be fun. I'm poking, I'm poking, I'm choking, I'm smoking. Okay, can you guys see that? How fun is that? Oh, look, there's little faces on top of my thing. Hi, guys. Huh, that's new. Hi, little faces. <laughs> How you do? Okay, and then you guys are going to finish up just like this. You're turning your brush. You're doing whatever it is that you want to do. I tell you what, if we could just get these scammers painting, they'd find some joy and they wouldn't kind of put out a sneak in the shows. Naughty. <laughs> Naughty little scammers. Don't click on those links because they'll steal your credit cards. Okay, and I'm going to finish up. I'm going to keep on poking, just like this, turning my brush, look at that, okay, until the whole thing is done. And what's going to happen is, in the end, you guys, all right, you're going to stand back, and you're going to say, ooh, ah, I love that, or you're going to say to yourself, well, 
Maybe I need more dark blue. Maybe I need more fuchsia because I decided to go with fuchsia. That's all right. That's all right. Nothing wrong with you. Okay? So we're going to keep on going. Marbleize, do a little evaluating, telling you, you know, ooh, let me do this. Ooh, I want a little of that. One want a little weight here. All right. All right. You know, there's no right or wrong. It's all about what's making your heart happy. And in the end, what you're going to have is a beautiful, marbleized, fun little canvas. All right? And, like I said, if you guys need to, you know, you're feeling a little anxious, all you got to do, take it out on your canvas. Give it the poke. <laughs> okay. Now. A painting is never finished, you guys, until you paint your top, your sides, and your bottom. So, what we're going to do, I love you too. Who said that? All right, I'm going to get past the sunju mumu na 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 And, oh, oops, oops, how do I do that? Okay, never mind. Let me turn it around. Whoops, no, that's not right. See, you guys, I touch technology and it breaks. Pierce Allen, how do I turn my camera around? Uh, you hit the button, the camera throws a symbol. Ah, there we go. <laughs> okay, so when you guys, hello, Ann Dumont, hello, Isabella, hello, Miss Georgia Jerkovic, how are you, honey, up there in Canada? I love me some Canada. Okay, so when you guys are all finished, what you're going to do is you're going to take that brush and you're going to poke out the top and the sides, but not the bottom, okay? You're going to do your bottom last because if you're on an easel, you'll get a sticky bottom. And let me tell you what, nobody likes a sticky bottom. No siree. I know I don't like it. Well... Never mind, I'm not going to do that with you guys this time because every time I think about it, it makes me want to say something naughty. And I'm not going to say something naughty. All right, so there we go. Look at that. Beautiful, okay? Now, you guys, take your time. Get this just the way you want it. Hello, hello. Hi, hello. Oh, fake account, fake account. Oh, God, they're on fire tonight. Look at all those buggers. Don't, don't you talk to them. They're naughty. They'll steal your credit card. I can't even see any good stuff. Hello from California. Sorry, late. What color is this? Which shades, please? Okay. So, Paya Sha. Basically, honey, you get to do your background whatever color you want. All right, sweetie? But what I did was I took a little bit of my favorite dark blue okay and my favorite white i loaded one side of my brush with dark blue the other one with white and all you're gonna do honey you give it the poke poke it poke it until your whole canvas is done and it's going to come out like this beautiful marble masterpiece i love this i love this technique it feels so good to poke something sometimes all right now when you guys are all finished you're gonna take your big poo you're going to put it right in the bath water. We're going to give her a bath because our little poopy is dirty, right? <laughs> I got dirty poop. All right. And, oh gosh, there's so many. I can't even see real people. You're welcome, sweet love. Should read, Paya. Love you, Nicole. Oh, I love you too. Hello, Sheik Renum. New Mexico. Hi, wow. Can I watch later, says Karen Lala Runfola. Yes, honey, you can always watch later. These shows are my gift to you, so why would I come and then take it off, okay? So, what are you saying, Bob, about my bottom? <laughs> Bob. So, what you guys are going to find out is, I, I right after this show, it automatically goes on my Artful Nights Facebook page. I do not have a website. So that's why I have you guys like Artful Nights. Oh, I'm awesome sauce. Well, thank you. <laughs> You're awesome in my sauce. 
So it goes there, and then I put it on my YouTube channel, which is Artful Nights Maine. All you got to do is look me up, and forever and ever, you can have my tutorials. I've got about 30 of them on YouTube. Okay, so this is our background. What we're going to do is I'm going to dry this off, okay? It, I guess it doesn't allow you to rewind. However, sit back, enjoy the show, and then you can watch it later where you can hit that pause and rewind feature. All right? Creature, creature, double feature. Is that, I love you. Oh, I love you too. The fake account accent is really bad. Fake accent. What fake accent? What are you talking about? I don't even know what you're talking about. Hi. Hello from California. I'm amazing. Hi from Davenport, New York. Thank you, Nicole. You're the best. Oh, you're the best, honey. Come on, Nicole. Say something naughty. <laughs> All right. So what you guys can do, okay, you can try this too. Now, if you don't like the way it looks upside down, try turning it around. All right. Either way, it's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is everybody is going to grab their big poo, all right? Grabbing the big poo. And what you're going to do with that big poo is you are going to grab some white, okay? We're going to grab some white on our big poo, and then right about here, what you guys are going to do is you're going to carve out the heart of your flower, just like this. And we are carving this out in white, okay? This is a deal, is with some of these commercial paints, okay, they don't allow you to, it just, you're not going to get the coverage that you want. So we're going to do a whole underpainting in white okay we're gonna do that first all right and what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna put the heart of that flower look at this all right you're gonna give a little bit of space on the bottom tiny little bit of space on the side and look at that it's the heart of the flower Ooh, love that Ooh, baby and then you're gonna paint it in in a circular motion just like this Okay, there we go. The fake accent is really bad. Jesus, I wish I did have a fake accent. That would be kind of fun. <laughs> Problem is I've lived in too many places. <laughs> okay, then what you guys are going to do is we are going to carve out the whole entire sunflower, okay? Hello, Catherine Frazier from Riverview, New Brunswick, Canada. Hello, Wendy Donaldson. Oh, you guys like the butterfly over there. I was thinking about doing that in May. Um, 
I already say something naughty. Knoxville, New Jersey. Hello from Mixes. Oh, thank you. Hello from New Hampshire. Hi, baby. <laughs> I well, a couple of people have asked me about the butterfly back there. So what I'll do is I'm gonna make that for a tutorial in Maine. Okay, you guys. So no worries. Right. Don't listen to trolls. Trolls. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what that's about. All right. <laughs> okay. Now, what we're going to do next, okay, is you guys are going to take your medium brush, all right? And what we're going to do with this is we're going to use it this way which is not horizontal, but we're gonna be using it vertical. Look at that. Oh, I painted your face. All right? And what I'm gonna have you guys do is you're gonna start off carving out your beautiful sunflower, all right? So watch this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna carve out, boom, our first petal. Okay, now you can do your petals any way you want to, okay? I always like this kind of canoe, that canoe version, just like that. However, maybe you don't want your petals, you know, so pointy. Maybe you just want to round the tips. That's okay, too, all right? So that's what you're going to do for your first one. And what we're going to do next is I'm going to have you guys rotate your canvas like you're driving a car that's the best way that i found to be able to make sure that all those petals are facing the right direction and some of them aren't the one that's okay so there's number one and what we're going to do next is we're going to come right up alongside this all right and again i'm going to drive this like a car watch this whoop and whoop See that? Okay, there's one, there's two. Right off the side. All right, now I'm gonna turn my car, my little driving steering wheel a little bit more. Whoop, ooh, see that? Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. We're gonna turn it again, okay, so that this is pointing up, and whoop, Make that noise. It comes out better if you do. Okay? <laughs> comes out better if you do. Okay? So now I'm going to keep going around. All right? I'm driving it like a car. Whoop. Whoop. Okay? Just like that. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Okay? We're going to go up. Whoop. You make that noise, it comes out better, too. Okay? There's that. See that? And then we're going to keep on going. We're going to turn our steering wheel. Look at that. Rum, rum, digga, digga. Okay? Ooh, look at this. There's that one. Turn that steering wheel again. Okay? And you can make your petals fat. You can make your petals thin. You can make your petals any way you want to. Because guess what? Like I said, there's no right or wrong when it comes to art, is there? No sorry. It's all about what you love. Okay. Is that? Boom. All right. And then I'm going to turn my steering wheel again. Whoop. And the biggest thing is you guys just want to make sure when you're doing this that you leave enough space for that honeybee. Okay? And here comes my last petal. Here comes the sun. Doo 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 doo. All right? There we go. Whoop. Look. Okay, and that leads me into the next thing. Now, we've got our front petals all carved out, just like that, okay? And now what we're gonna do 
is we're gonna add in, we're gonna draw them first, okay? We're gonna add in those back pedals. Those pedals that are the behind pedals, the ones that we can't see. Can you guys see this? Now like this is a back pedal, that's a back pedal, that's a back pedal, okay? So what I'm gonna have you guys do first is you're gonna take that brush all right, now, just because they're in the back does not mean that they're taller. Hi, Nicole, that looks so cool. Joining me from Michigan. Hello, Denise. Hello, Elizabeth Singer from Wisconsin. Hello, Kathy Ree, looking good, baby. You're looking good. Thank you, my friend. Hannah Martell, scammers are out. Oh, they're out bad tonight. Jeez, I'm crawling. Must be something in the air. Those scammers must have spring fever. <laughs> Okay, so just because you're doing the back pedals, all right, and they're in the back, they still stay even with the front pedals, all right? They don't go way up here. They stay even with the front pedals. Can you guys see that? All the way around. So what you guys are going to do next is you're going to add in the back pedals. You find the in between -y spot, okay? in between -y spot. So here you go. Here's my first back pedal. I found the in between, the crack between those two pedals. And then what I did was I added a back pedal that was at the same length as the front pedals. Okay? All right, baby. And then I'm going to go on to the next one. Okay? Look at that. Boom. Here's my other back pedal. Look at that. Woo! Back pedal, back pedal. Now these guys don't get back pedals because obviously they're off the canvas. But what I'm going to do as I turn my thing around, okay, I'm going to keep going. And this would be the bottom right here because we got the heart of the flower here. This is the bottom of the flower. So what I'm going to do, because I have enough space, I'm going to add a back pedal there in between. Can you guys see that? Hello from Pennsylvania. How you doing? Hi, guys. That's right. I like me some Pennsylvania. Now over here in this corner, I'm going to add a back pedal that looks just like this. And the reason I call it a back pedal it's because they're just hanging out in front, of the, in front of the front pedals. See that? One over there. And then we're going to carve out one over here. Whoop. Whoop. Between this little crack in. All right. Everything good in life has a crack in it. Don't forget that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Some cracks are better than others. Okay, we're going to come in here. We're going to add this back pedal. And then we come in here and we add this back pedal. Okay? Beautiful. And now I have both of my front pedals and my back pedals all carved out, all traced out. How you like that? Ooh, nice pedals you got there, Missy. <laughs> all right. Now, so I can get my beautiful sunflower as bright and as brilliant as possible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my poo. Which poo am I looking for? Oh, I guess I'm looking for that poo. All right, grab my poo out of the bath water. You're going to dry it off so you don't get the dripsies. All right, because nobody likes the dripsies. And what you guys are going to do, that's how the light gets in. You got it, sweet bong. I love that. So today I taught this amazing birthday party for the most beautiful soul in Thompson, Maine. She made me these earrings. Ah, it's because we're birthday twins. I like that. <laughs> all right, you guys. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your big poo, all right? Look at that. There you go. And you're going to start right off where that first petal was. You're going to paint it in just like this. 
So we're going to do an underpainting of white, okay? And the reason why we're going to do that is because it's going to allow you to have the most brilliant yellow sunflower in the world. Look at that. Yes, yeah. Okay? And now you're going to come in. We're going to do this petal right over here. Just like you carved them, you are going to paint them. Just like that. Look at that. Oh, who's your petal? Who's your petal? That's right. I'm your petal. Okay? There's that one. Look at that. Nice. All right? And you guys are going to go all the way around, and you're going to paint in those front petals, just like where you made them. Right about like where you made them. All right? Is that even like English? I think so. Okay? So there we go. Look at that. All right. Keep going around. You're going to paint them in. They do not have to be perfect. All right. <laughs> not even a little perfect. That's what I love about art. No such thing as perfect. Right? Okay. You're just going to get that nice first coat on there. Boom. That's right. Boom, chuckalaka. Just like that. Okay. Now, what you're going to do next, you're going to come in. Keep on going. Right? Making sure that you're just leaving that outer edge as is so you can tell one petal from the next. Because we don't want our painting to get all petalrific on us. No sir way. Okay. Here we go. There's that. Boom, boom. Oh, somebody's down in my basement. How you doing down there? <laughs> Pete's out. <laughs> I'm cold tonight. <laughs> I think it's a furnace man. All right. I like a, I like a good furnace man. All right. And we're going to keep going. There's that. Ooh, ooh. Screech like a monkey. Uh, so, <laughs> hey, I hear you down there. <laughs> <sighs> All right, here we go. There's the next one. Beautiful. Okay, we're keeping on the going. All right, you guys, now, when I'm teaching on my phone, like I said, I don't always get to see um, all the comments. Hi, Nikki, I just love this. My son paints like that. I will have to try it. Go on. Jumanzi Schultz, we, what are we using? Using acrylics. Love your spirit from Chicago. Oh, I love you. Who are you? Cynthia Speck. Woo! There's a speck on my nose. <laughs> I love your name, Cynthia. What sizes are my three brushes, somebody says. Well, this is what I tell people, okay? For my brushes, the biggest one, I usually go with a three-quarter inch or a one inch, all right? And for me, um, what I try to explain to people is, you know what? My shows, hello, lady, hello, a big love from British Columbia, Canada. How you doing? Um, I try to get like a one inch brush, a three quarter inch brush, a soft medium bristle brush, and the bit, most important brush to me is my detail brush, that little bit titty. What I want to make sure is I got the smallest titty in the world, okay, so that I can get in with those fine details. But the problem, or the issue is, in my opinion, is that everybody paints different. We all have a different touch. We all sign our name differently. So, as you guys keep painting, what you're going to find is that certain brushes work for you and certain brushes don't. So, try a bunch. You know, I always just go with the bare minimum. I go with the basics so that everybody can paint and everybody can enjoy art. When you become Picasso, and you all will, all right, you are going to know what brushes work best for you. But for now, start with the basics, all right? Okay, that way you
don't feel all weird and intimidated when you're going to the art store. All right? You're just going to go where you can get the basics. Okay? And then try whatever brushes work for you. As long as you've got like a, about a one-inch brush and as long as you have a medium-sized brush and a little tiny brush, you're going to be all right. All right? And as you get better, you'll develop what uh, brushes work for you. That's how it is. That's how it goes. You'll figure out whether you're heavy-handed or you know what I'm saying. All right. So there we go. Now, all my front petals have their first coat on them. Look at that. Ooh, and they're looking good. They're looking mighty, mighty good. Now what you guys are going to do, you're going to come in. You're going to grab your medium brush. And I don't know if I gave this guy a name or not because I forget these things. But what we're going to call him, we're going to call him Eeyore. All right? I don't know why, but I'm sticking with the pool theme tonight. Eeyore. Piglet. <laughs> Piglet. All right? And what I'm going to have you guys do on your paint plate. All right? You got those in. They're looking good. On your paint plate, I am going to have you guys make a tiny little buttercream. All right? Buttercream, Nicole, what are you talking about, girl? Well, what that is, is that's just a tiny bit of yellow and a tiny bit of um, white. See this right here? That's my buttercream, okay? I'm going to take my medium brush, which is my Eeyore, and I'm going to come in and I'm going to paint in these back petals with that buttercream color. And you must say to me, why, Nicole? Why are you doing that? Well, because I want to make sure that when I get white on white, that all of, hello from British, yeah, all of my petals stay separate, okay? There's that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come in, I'm going to outline these back petals with this light yellow, light buttercream color, and I'm mixing together white and yellow so I get the best kind of coverage that I can get. Look at that. I'm outlining them all before I paint them. Okay. See that? Oh, look at that back pedal. That's right. That's right. What do you do on your bicycle? Oh, you do the back pedal. What do you do when you're on the roller skates? Oh, we do the back pedal. Okay. <laughs> so there are my back pedals. You guys are going to come in and you're going to paint in all of your back petals with this light buttercream color. White and yellow. Okay? Just like that. Nick and what that fight. And if you, as they get bigger, you guys grab your poo. Alright? If they get bigger on you, grab your poo. And that will allow you to do, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying. You're hearing what you're hearing the words that are coming out of my mouth. Okay? Gotta get this one with the buttercream right here. Bubble. 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 See that? There's that one. Alright, coming in here. Just like that. Who's your mama? Oh, hi your mama. Actually, my son came to visit me this weekend. From college. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Tell you what, he's a good boy. Okay, there's that. We're going to paint in that back pedal. Got to keep on turning that steering wheel, getting this one. That's right. Who loves you? I love you. Yeah, you do. Okay, there's that one. And we got this bad boy right here. Oh, here's your naughty little back pedal. Okay, there's that. There. Swoopy doopy doopy. You running out of that buttercream? Make some more. I know I am too. All right, there's that. Boom, boom. Okay, there's that one. Get right in here, get this little big boy. That's right, I'm gonna get you. Okay, 
Okay. Just like that. And there. When you are all finished, your thing, your, uh, what's this thing called? Oh my God, I forgot the name of this flower. Your sunflower should look like your version of this. Okay? When you're all finished. Isn't she pretty? Oh, she's so pretty. I know, I know. <laughs> wow, I'm so doing this. Well, good, honey. Let me go down here. I learned how to. Don't listen to trolls. You're a breath of fresh air. Yeah, there's a lot of trolls out there, but you know what? They can't strike down my thunder. I'm a happy girl, so they can, they can sit on my troll. <laughs> they can go sit on a toadstool. <laughs> I love your accent. I was talking about I thank you, honey. Hi from Ormonk City, Philippines. I love it. I love to learn. Oh, well, Shakita. Shakita Ma, you, I love it when you learn. You are by far my favorite. Well, thank you, honey. Oh, I, jeez, I love you, Cindy, Cheryl Ruda. Jennifer Bird, my videos are good. How you doing, Jennifer Bird? Okay. <laughs> so, now that you guys are all good, okay, you've got the back, you've got the front, what I am going to have you guys do is we want to make sure that this centerpiece is dry. So this part, this section, okay? And what I am going to have you guys do is you are going to grab your medium brush, all right? Remember that, the little Eeyore, and we're going to turn this guy into a Pekka, all right? Just like this. This is how we're going to be doing the center of that flower. Oh, look at that little curl. <laughs> okay? So you guys are going to take some of that bright green on your brush. Can you guys see that? Oh, there's that bright, bright green. And what I'm going to have you guys do next is you're going to grab some yellow and maybe a little white. Look at that. Green yellow and white green yellow and white that's right green yellow i just realized my shirt yes that's my head you guys these are your aprons so a bunch of people were asking me nicole can you get aprons for me well yes i did these are the aprons they're blue and they're maroon so if you guys want to purchase those you send me a message okay all right look at that see that and what you guys are going to do, not the whole circle, but just in the center, what I'm going to have you do is, see, the reason why we're taking these three colors on our brush is because when you tap them together, they come in and they make that marbleized look. All right? Just like we had in the uh, blue part of it. All right, you guys? So check her out. All right, you're gonna make, you're gonna ring around this rosy. Can you see that? Ring around that rosy. And we're only doing this in the center part of this circle. We're not going all the way to the edge, okay? Can you guys see this? Beautiful. All right, all right. Who's your mama? Who's your mama? Okay, there's that. Perfect. All right. And you're going to leave this center part just as is. You're going to leave that white. Okay? Beautiful. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do next. Hello, Jacqueline Castlebaum from Maine. How you do? Your energy makes me want to get up and grab a brush. What you doing, Doug? Delilah, is that it, Delilah? Delilah Patterson, you get up and grab a brush, honey. <laughs> Debbie Reed, hello, from Mount Forest, Ontario. Okay, so what we've done, we've taken our light green, we put light green, yellow, and white, and we have packed out this beautiful center ring on our sunflower. Just like that, okay? Now... 
what you guys are going to do next, you're going to clean off that little, uh, oh my God, I'm having a brain poopy. You're going to clean off your beautiful little Eeyore, just like that. Dry it off so you don't get the dripsies. And now what I'm going to have you guys do is I'm going to have you load it up with a little bit of black, okay? Poke your paint plate about once or twice. And you guys are going to come in and all around this center, you guys all around the outside of that ring, you're going to poke in a ring of black for now. Okay? And it's not perfect. No siree. Look at that. Not perfect. And that's okay. We don't mind. And you're going to fill in all the way around that center ring. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. Oh, she nice. Oh, she's so nice. Okay. Just like this. You're going to be a little careful. We're not pokey doking all nilly willy. Okay. We're just giving it nice gentle pokes. Like this. Okay. And we're going to go ring right around that rosy. Ring around that rosy. There we go. Boom. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. A little ring around the rosy. Okay, giving it the poke. This is like, I'm going to call this painting the polka. Because <laughs> we get to do the polka. Okay, check that out. So you've got a ring of black around that gorgeous green, just like that. Nice, huh? I know, I know. All right. And then the last thing that I'm going to have you guys do before halftime, okay, is you guys are going to clean off your polka, clean off your Eeyore, and you're going to come into the very center, all right? See this pot? The very center of that flower. And what I'm going to have you guys do, okay, you're going to take a little bit of green, just that regular straight up green, and we're going to poke that right into the center. Look at that. Ooh, baby. That's right. She's poking it in the center. Ooh, she's hitting the bullseye. She's hitting the bullseye. <laughs> All right. Look at that. Oh, there comes that target. All right, you guys. And once you get your center poked in, you have successfully made it to halftime. You guys can go make your bladder gladder if you need to. Grab a snack. Grab a drink. Grab two drinks if you want to. Stand up. Stretch your bones. And I'm going to see you in three minutes. Maybe four, because i got to open my wine bottle. I'll be right back.
myself, so I'm probably back early, but that's okay, because I could give you my halftime speech anyways. All right, so here goes. Ah, you guys probably heard this a lot. Now, just because I can't see your comments does not mean at the end. At the end, I go through everything. I read everything. I delete the scammers. So make sure you guys are saying some cool stuff to me. And if you're going to see something mean, go put that mean somewhere else. Because we've showing love tonight. <laughs> um, now... What I love to do, you guys, okay, I started doing this during COVID, giving these free classes. Um, so, what makes my heart happy is I get an opportunity to see all your paintings, right? That brings me joy. So, when you're all finished, you guys, please feel free to send me your picture, all right? What I do is I go through all of them. I'm a one-man band. There's not more than one of me. Okay, so when you get a message from Artist Nicole, that's from me. You guys can send them to me through my email, all right, which is artfulnightsmain at gmail.com, or you can send them to me right as a message on Facebook. All right, all these shows, as I said, you've heard this before, all of them, they go right onto that Facebook page immediately after we're done, and... Then what I do is I transfer them onto the YouTube channel. And it's all Artful Nights Main. There you go. All right. So as long as you like that Artful Nights Main page, you can get right back to your tutorial if you missed anything. And you guys can see all my free Sunday shows, which I'm doing every Sunday. Okay. Um, now, next Sunday, do you want to see what we're doing? I bet you do. I bet you do. I just came up with this little whippersnapper. So, what we are doing next Sunday, I just finished painting this bugger, is we are doing the Spring Cardinal. Look at that. Ooh, little pretty, pretty bird. Oh, I see you. Okay, so next Sunday, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we are doing the Pretty, Pretty Cardinal. Okay, and I hope you guys love it. I know I love it. You want to see what we're doing after that? The Sunday after that? I'll show you the Sunday after that, too. So this is next Sunday, right? Two Sundays from now. I'm wicked proud of this guy. He's so cunning. Two Sundays from now, we are going to be doing the Easter Bunny. Look at that, guys. Oh, ho, ho. look at that little cotton tail. Okay, and that will be two weeks from now. All right, two Sundays. Okay? <laughs> so make sure you like Artful Nights, man, and keep joining me, okay? I, you're so excited to do what? Let me see what you're excited to do. Nicole, I love your accent. It's very close to ours. Canadian Maritime, which I definitely have. Oh, God, well, I'm so glad. I've lived in New York. I've lived in Maine. I pick up a little bit of crap everywhere. So are you doing white right now? Using white? Yes, honey. We're using white for the underpainting. Hello, love this. Let's go. But I want to see who's... Which was, you love the bunny. All right. <laughs> Good, good, good. I love to hear it. All right, you guys, let's get going. Let's get this thing beautiful. Okay, so basically what we did in the center, that's just an underpainting, okay? It's totally not perfect. We are so going to go over this. We are so going to make this little thing sparkle. All right, now what I'm going to have you guys do next, okay? Just like we painted in, just like we painted in, the, at first we painted in those white, uh, the white background, now we're going to take that big old poo, all right, and you guys are going to grab a bunch of that yellow, straight up yellow, all right, and what we're going to do is just like when we, Painted in the first petal, you guys are going to do the same thing, okay? So, 
what I'm going to have you do is you're going to start off with petal number one. Now, do not worry if you go into that black or you go over that black, okay? Don't worry about that. We'll clean it up later, okay? There's number one. Now, once you get number one done, all right, you are going to go on and we are going to do number two. Right in the front. These <laughs> We're going to do number two. <laughs> No, I'm not that kind of number two. Okay, and we're going to keep on going. We're going to get these little happy suckers in. Don't give it a big old thick coat. Don't worry about that. Just get that right on it. But because we put that white underpainting on the back, holy guacamole, look how bright that is. Huh. Okay, so we're going to keep going. There we go. We're going to give this one. There's that, and we're going to keep on going all the way around, just like we did with those white front puddles, okay? But this time, we're going to paint them in yellow. And as I said, do not worry if you get a little bit on that black, okay? That was just an underpainting to show you where that black goes. All right, so there we go. Boom, chaka laka laka. Mm, mm, mm. All right, and then we're going to keep on going just like this. All right. Go all the way around. Ring around that rosy. Pockets on the full of my poses. Okay. Like that. Nice. We're going all the way around. We're getting all those front petals like you're going to paint it like your mother made it. You know what I'm saying? Yeehaw. Like your mother made an apple pie. <laughs> Maybe she made a honey pie. <laughs> well, she made a honey pie if she made you. <laughs> okay, can you guys see that? And we're going all the way around. Whoops, I see this one needs a little more paint. Okay. Just like this. All right, you turn that little steering wheel of the car so that you can get them all in. Like that. Ooh, baby, see? Oh, turn it around. Turn it around. Here we go. There's that. And you guys are going to paint in the entire front of those front petals. Gonna keep going around. I got my little poo. My poo is doing a great job tonight. I like that. That's right. You know, if he touches Tubby, he goes, hoo hoo! <laughs> Do you remember that? Well, you probably don't have uh, that Pillsbury Doughberry commercial at your house, but when you touch his little tubby, he goes, whoo! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay. Now, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. There's my last front petal. Okay? Just like this. All right. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do next, okay, that yellow probably didn't cover everything. And that's okay because we're going to go in, we're going to give it a second coat of yellow in a little bit, and we're going to pull that orange through. So don't worry about that first coat of yellow, okay? What you guys are going to do on your paint plate, you are going to mix a little bit of yellow, Okay, and a tiny bit of orange, just a tiny bit of orange, and you're going to make a little yellowish orange color, okay? So, it's going to look a little bit like this, all right? It's still yellow. It's not orange. It's still yellow, but it's going to be a tinted just a little bit, and what we're going to do is we're going to come in very carefully, and we are going to paint these back petals with that yellowish orange. You're gonna mix the two together. It is still yellow, okay? It's still yellow, 
but it's got just a little bit of a tint to it, a little bit of an orange tint. So those back petals are going to be just a, like one hue darker than your front petals. See that? And you're going to come in, you're going to get all those pet back petals. Okay, make sure you outline them. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. You see that? Okay, beautiful. We're going to keep on going all the way around to all those back petals are painted in. Just like this. Okay. We'll come around here. Don't come around here no more. No. All right, painting this one. There we go. Keep on going. And if you slightly overlap those front petals, that's okay because we're going to end up giving them a little detail work. All right, look at that. Okay, can you see that? Can you see how my back petals are just slightly darker than my front petals? Okay. Yeah. That's right. You're going to show that flower who's boss. You're the boss. It's your world. Right? It's your flower. Here we go. Gonna so come in here, paint that one in a little bit yellowish orange, just like this. All right, we'll keep on a going. And last one, just like this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I guess I missed this little butt over here. There we go. Boom, boom. Okay, can you guys see that? So now I've got those beautiful, bright, <laughs> I've got those beautiful, bright front petals. I've got a slightly darker back petal. Okay. Now. This is what I'm going to have you guys do next, okay? You are going to keep your Eeyore ready, all right? So we're going to clean it off so that it's nice and clean and it's ready to do some work. All right, so I'm going to have this. I'm going to grab my big boy over here, my big poo. Oh, I want to show you guys something. Lug them a pretty mug. <laughs> Inspire ya. <laughs> okay. Now, this is how it's going to work. We're going to go back in to do these front petals. Okay. And I'm going to have you give them a, just a nice light second coat. All right. So, here we go. We're going to start at this one. Very light touch. Because I want this petal nice and greasy. All right, there's number one that we started off with. Okay. Boom. Boom. Okay. Now I'm going to take my big pool and I'm going to rest it on my paint plate. And I'm going to grab this guy right here. That's what I'm talking about. And on this guy, I'm going to do a little double dip, okay? I've got orange on one side, and I got a tiny hint of brown on the other. So orange and brown, orange and brown, all right? And now I started off on this big yellow. Can you see how it's nice and saturated? And what I'm going to have you guys do is you're going to give it the wisp wisp okay look at that it's like a nice gentle flick woo woo oh yeah who's wisping who's wisping and you're gonna give that petal as much 
of that color as makes your heart happy. Now, if you guys want a nice, just an orange color, you can do that, okay? Or, then I'm going to take a dry brush. Look at that. Woo. Woo. Oh, taking my paint off. Oh, you little turd. Don't take that dry brush. All right. Grab that other one again. Orange and yellow. All right. Boom. Boom. And you're just wisping that up. See that? Wispy, wispy. Right from the heart of that petal. Look at that. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's a sunflower. Okay? So it's a nice, gentle touch, a nice, gentle wisp, and it starts right at the base of that flower. Now, do not worry if you go over this black, okay? Don't worry about that at all because we're going to clean it up in a little bit. All right? Now, I'm going to move on to my second petal. Okay, I got my nice big boy here, and then I, just my second front petal. Okay, I'm going to resaturate that with yellow, resaturating it with yellow. See that? Oh, she's nice and wet now. Okay, put that brush down, grab my little Eeyore, double dip Eeyore in white and brown. So we got brown and white, I mean brown and orange. Starting at the base, I'm going to wisp, 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 okay? Just like Farrah Fawcett's bangs back in the, back in the 70s, we're wisping it in. And when you wisp, you guys are going to just give it a flick, flick it, flick it, ooh, flick it, flick it, okay? And pull that color right from the base of that petal. Look at that. And this is a nice, gentle touch, you guys, okay? You're kissing the canvas, all right? Here we go again. You guys are going to come in. All right, you're going to paint in this one just like this. Paint in this little beautiful petal, beautiful front petal. We're re-wetting it just like this. Okay, then you guys gonna double dip your little eel. Oh, and wisp, 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 pull, wisp. Okay, nice gentle wisps right from the center of that petal. I mean right from the end of the petal. Look at that. God, she's gorgeous. Okay? <laughs> and what I want you to do is I want you to repeat that process until all of those front petals are done. Okay? We resaturate with yellow because it gets it nice and greasy and easy to work with. And then we double dip that little brush with brown and yellow. I mean brown and uh, orange. Okay? And then you're just going to pull it right from the base. Pull it right from the base. Just a combination of those two colors, just like this. Nice and gentle. Roll right over that wet paint. And if you want to add a little up there, that's okay. Look at that. Okay, that's all right. Nothing wrong with that. All right. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Nice. And again, just keep repeating that process. Here we go. Here's this one. Roop, roop, roop. There we go. We're painting that. We're getting it nice and wet. We're coming in with a wispy, wispy. You love my hair in the morning? Wicked wispy. Okay, just a little bit of brown. More orange than brown. Okay? And you wisp it in. From the center. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wispy wispy. Like nice crispy. Okay, see that? Beautiful. Now, right? Look at this. I did this on purpose. See that big old yellow, I mean big old orange line? If you guys do that, okay, you make a little stray petunia that you don't like, you do all you gotta do 
take a little yellow, all right, and go right over it. Go right over it. Look at that. Boom. Tone that sucker right down, okay? Perfect. All right. Now, we're going to do it again. Take some yellow. We're going to do this. Roop, roop. Saturate that little front petal just like this. Get her nice and wet. Grab my crispy wispy. Wisp it in. Happy wisping. Just like happy cloud. Happy wisping. <laughs> okay, look at that. You. I love it. All right, there you go. That one's not as dark. That's all right. Okay. Do this one. Get this nice and wet. Not too wet, but kind of wet. All right. Grab your wispy spoon. Pull it in. Ooh, that's a little bit not, not enough brown for me. So we're going to add a little more of that. And you guys are just gently going to pull in these colors. Look at that. Boom. Okay. Right from the center. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. I tell you what. All right. And now we're almost done. I'm going to get these last three just like this. Okay. Repeating that process, getting it nice and wet. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Right? Oh, had a little brown in there. That's nice, nice brown cow. Okay. There's that one. Beautiful. All right. Now, we're going to come in here. Whoop, whoop. Get this guy. You know, because these ones are little stub stubs. They're not full petals. I'm just going to re-wet all these at once. Okay. Just let's re-wet them all at once. Let's get her done. One, two, three. Okay. And then I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna then I'm gonna wisp them all. Okay, watch this. Hmm. She whispered. She whispered. Okay, and it's just a nice gentle flick, just like that. You're just pulling in that gorgeous color. All right. Because you know sunflowers, they're pretty. They got a nice little color coming out of this spurt, huh? Look at that. Add a little more brown. Nice combination of orange and brown. You guys don't have to use just orange and brown. You can use red. You can use white. You can use a bunch of different things. Okay? It's your world. All right. There's that one. And then we'll come in here. We're going to wisp out our last one. Look at that. Ooh, crispy wispy. Got a little of that. A little brown in there. Look at that. Whoa. Yes. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's a little fire. Boom, boom, firepower. Okay. Now I look at this one and I'm like, hmm, which one of these does it match the others? I think I put too much yellow on that center. So I'm just going to bring in some more color here. Maybe add a little brown right there. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, brown cow. Right? Who's your brown cow? Ooh, her name is Bessie. Oh. <laughs> All right. There you go, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, she wispy, crispy to everything. Oh, I love it. I love it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Carmen says you need some of my energy oh girl trust me you can have some <laughs> okay now you guys once you guys get the, those front petals done hopefully you won't pull the head off your brush like I just did you're going to grab your Eeyore okay 
grab that Eeyore. And what you're going to do is we are going to come in. We're going to put a little bit of white on our whisper. All right. And we're going to start with the back petals. Watch this. Okay. So now that you've gotten really good at whispering, okay, you're going to take some white. We're going to start at the end of that petal and you're going to whisp it down. Look at that. Just like the top of uh, Mount Everest. Watch this. Woo, woo. Okay. You're going to go on to your other back petals. We'll give those front petals a minute to dry. You're going to do the same thing. Okay, look at that. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. See that? How awesome is that, you guys, right? You sunflowering it up. You're making my sunflower happy. That's right. Okay, and tonight, don't mind me, I'm going like, I'm going a little fast tonight. But again, if you guys can't keep up, do not get frustrated, okay? Because this is a deal, is that there is going to be a replay for you, so you just sit back, grab your wine, enjoy the process, alright? And there's going to be a replay for you to catch up later. Don't try to play, it's like me when I try to do bingo. Right? I got like the two second, you know, attention span. And then I go <laughs> and I try to play bingo and I grab all the cards and I'm like, ah! You know what I mean? Don't do that. Because art is going to bring you joy. It's like therapy. Okay? Don't put yourself on a time crunch. Don't you dare. All right. Now, we're going to come in. We're going to finish up these back panels just like this. All right, we're whispering in that little crispy. There we go. How you do, P.S.? I'm good. Good boy. Okay, we're whispering in here. Oh, got a little chunk in that one. I guess we'll save that for later. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's a chunk. Of, where's all these chunks coming from? Must be the heater's working again. Thank you, Mr. Heater Man. <laughs> Look at that. I can hear my heater working. He did a good job, okay? And I'm doing all the tips of those back pedals. All right? And all I'm doing is I'm whispering. I know, right? I'm going to get warm. <laughs> okay? So you're going to do all the tips of your back pedals. Can you guys see that? Ooh, tippy, tippy, tippy. All right, and now what you're going to do is you're going to come in and you're going to wisp in your front petals just like this. Can you see that? All right. Wisp in those front petals. Wispy, wispy, nice and crispy. Okay, we're wisping in the front petals just like that. Beautiful. All right, whisping that white in. You add as much or as little of that white. Look at this. I'm gonna take that one right down to the Paradise City. Why? Cause I feel like it. Look, I'm not just gonna do the cone on his head. Look. Oh, look. Oh, maybe I'll bring some down there. Okay. There's no right or wrong. It's my special world. It's your special world. You add as much of that white, but don't make them too perfect. That's the only thing. In nature, nothing is perfect. And that's why we love it. You know, that's why I love it. Man, I am so perfectly imperfect. And that's why I love me. Okay? So I'm bringing in that white on the tip of all my petals now. Yeah, maybe I'll add a little bit right there. Why? Because I feel like it. Okay? All right. Now, some of these ones on the bottom... Um, there is not a lot of, not a lot of tip down there. But if you would like, you can still brush in some white. Look at that. Oh, she brush it. Okay. Is that? And then maybe I'll add a little white here. 
Why? Because I feel like it. All right, look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, she's coming together, you guys. She's coming together. All right. Now I've got all of the petals done, and they look beautiful. I brought in all that center color. Now we're going to work on the heart of our flower, okay? The flower heart. So what I'm going to have you guys do, you're going to grab that Eeyore again, okay? What I'm going to have you do with Eeyore is you guys are going to take this Eeyore brush, your medium brush, and you are going to peck around all the edges, okay? Just like this. Can you see that? And we're using black around all the edges. Look at that. Okay? You're bringing it right into the base of those flowers, and you're just pecking in the edges. You're making those edges look perfectly imperfect. All right? They're going to get all rowdy spouty. They're going to be all perfectly imperfect. Okay? And that's what we want. Look at that. Pecky, pecky, pecky. Nothing I like better than a good pecka. Okay? There we go. We're pecking in our edges. Ooh! <laughs> just like Woody Woodpecker. Pecking in our edges, just like this. Okay? And you guys are going to go all the way around. You're going to do a ring around that, Rosie. Just like this, you're not being mean to yourself. You're not taking 20 years to pack. You're not thinking about it. You're just giving her the pack. Okay? And you just take that hand. You bounce it a little bit so those edges aren't perfect. Okay? And we're going to do that all the way around. All the way around. Just like that. Oh, pecky, pecky, pecky. Here we go. All right. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Okay? Perfectly imperfect edges. Nothing better than that. Okay? Now, what I'm going to have you guys do. So all we did was we packed black around the outer edge of our ringer. We've got that horny green, a little bit of yellow, and a little bit of white. Okay, here's another little white. All right, so green, yellow, and white. And what we're going to do is, oh, I think I'm hot. Cool. Okay, so what you guys are going to do is you're going to take in that green and yellow again, okay, and you're going to make sure that you go around those edges like this. So that the, um, the inside of that flower is not perfect. Okay, so we're going to overlap the black just like that with green, yellow, and white. Okay? Boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada. We're not getting the center of that flower though. Okay? We're just going around the edges. We're making sure those edges are perfectly imperfect just like this all right they're all uneven oh that's what i like to see oh got myself a little black on my brush that's okay all right so there we go now we're repacking that okay and very carefully you are going to take your eeyore all right you're going to clean them off that medium brush you're going to take some brown on that brush, on that little pecka, okay? And in the center, okay, so look at this. I'm not doing the ring on this side or this side. I'm just taking that brown in the center, and I'm pecking it out. 
All right, I'm not letting it hit that black that goes around my green. Okay, I'm just pecking it out in the center. Look at that. So we're leaving that outer black edge. All right, and look at this. Ooh, ooh, yeah, you're going to get as close to that green as you can get without touching it. Okay. Yes, yeah. Close to that green as you can get without touching it. There we go. There. Okay. There we go. How beautiful is that? That's right, look, ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Now, this is where your flower is gonna come together. You know it, big, big boys and girls out there. You're gonna grab your little itty bitty, okay? Your little tip mouse. We're gonna call this guy a little piglet. We'll call him a little piglet, <laughs> piglet, okay? You're gonna grab your little piglet, load it up with some brown. All right, and what you're gonna do is you are gonna outline each one of these petals. And when you outline them, you don't have to do it perfect, okay? You're gonna do a very loose outline. All right, look at that. A very loose outline, just like this. We're adding a little bit of brown on the tip of that petal. Okay, look at that. So do you see what I did? Just a little outline on each one of those petals with that brown. Okay, now you're gonna move on to the next one. We're doing the front petals first. And you're probably not gonna have to do the whole petal. Okay, see that? There's number two. All right, we're going to come in with number three, just like this. All right, make sure you get right up to that black, number four, just like this. Ooh. Oh. Okay. And you're going to do the same thing. You start at the, the black edge. So this is the thing. You want to make sure that when you're outlining these petals, you're starting right at that black part. Okay? Do not, whatever you do, do not start in the middle of the petal. All right? We're going to continue to outline these. Just like this. Nice, gentle, simple outline. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, just like that. Ooh. Oh. Here we go. All right. And we're going to come in here, separate this little bad boy. See that? There you go, you guys. Okay, come in here. Ooh. Come in here. Ooh. Okay. And we're going around, we're getting this one, starting at the foundation. Outlining that big old petal feather. This one. And this one. Okay? There you go. And when you're all finished, you guys, the front petal should look like your version of this. 
Okay, a nice gentle outline. All right. And now what we do in the front, we gotta do in the back. So you're taking a tiny bit of brown, woo, and you're outlining the back petals, just like this. There we go. Okay, we're gonna get this one. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Just like this, woo. Just like this. And get this guy right here. Come in right there. And there we go. Now, those underneath ones, these guys right here, you're probably not going to have to touch them. Maybe you have to give them a little of this. Okay? And when you're all finished outlining your entire flower, that beautiful bug is going to look just like your version of this. Look at that. Cute little bugger. Okay. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do next. Now that you've got all of those petals outlined, okay, what you're going to do is... You're going to take that little brush, that little, hello, hello, Hannah's, Hannah's, oh, it's a stack. I thought it's a steak. Hello from Alaska. How you doing? Noel, Hannah, and Grandma. Hi, Grandma. How are you, honey bunny? Kate, Celsius, hello from Minnesota. Christy Wilta, your first time watching you. Yay! How you doing, my new friend? Jan Carlson, Noelle, and Hannah, I love you both so much. How are your goats? Oh, <laughs> they're friends. <laughs> they got goats. <laughs> nice. Okay, now when you guys are all done outlining your petals, okay, I'm going to show you this up close. What we're going to do next is we're going to take black on our little brush. And can you see what I did? I took black and I outlined the black on my flower and then I outlined it very loosely right there. Okay? So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some black on the tip of your little piglet, just like this, okay? And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go around then you're going to wiggle out the outline around the black, around this part of your flower. So you're wiggling out a little outline, just like this. Okay, it's not perfect, but that's all right. It just cleans up those lines. Look at that. We're wiggling it out. Woo! That's right. We're giving it a little wiggle. Okay, if you need to fill in some holes, you go for it. All right, we're going to wiggle it out through here. Give it the little wiggle worm all the way around the center. Okay, look at that. Ooh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There we go. We'll fill that in. Could get a little hole in there. I'm going to wiggle around this edge. There you go. Okay. And then until we get to the finish line. Oh, I'm kind of racing ahead. I'm going from the other side. Look at that. <laughs> Not it. There we go. Okay. And we're wiggling that out. All right. So when you're all done, it'll look like your version of this. Poke out any yellow and orange you might see. Poke that out with black. That's all right. Get it right in there. Okay. There you go. There's that edge. And then, you're going to come in and very carefully, you're just going to go around 
and you're gonna do the green around here. Look at this, we're gonna wiggle that out, all right? Perfectly imperfect, we're gonna add just a little barrier so it makes that center of that flower pop. Just like that, these little pop rocks you used to have when you were a little kid, okay? Just like that, we're wiggling it around the edges. Beautiful, look. Okay, now if you've got a little shake to your hands, this is gonna be the perfect step for you, huh? Okay, you're gonna come in, you're just gonna outline. Look at that. Oop, doo -doo 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 -doo. See that? Going around. Ooh, yeah. All right. And now we're all done with that. So we've outlined the outside of our flower, and now we've added a little black outline on the green part. Okay? Beautiful. All right. Now, the next thing you guys are going to do, we're going to um, grab our brush with the smallest tip, okay? Now, by the tip, I don't mean this part, I mean this part right here. So, the one that's got the smallest little end piece, okay? And what you guys are going to do is... You're going to come in to the center of that flower. All right, this part right here. And what I'm going to have you do, first thing you're going to do, you're going to take this brush and you're going to dip it in your black. Not the brush part, but the end part. Can you guys see that? And if you need to freshen up that black, you go for it. Jeez, my heat is going crazy right now. So my black is drying up. Okay? Take that, take my little polka, and right around this outer edge, look at that. I am gonna poke in some black dots. Okay, can you see that? And it's around the outer edge where the two greens meet. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna poke in those dots. Look at that. Pokey, 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 pokey. There we go. There's that. And we're giving it the poke. Okay. Just the outer edge and we're poking in some black. Just like that. Black, black attack. Okay. Now, while that black dries, we're not going to go in there. We're not going to add another color until that black is dry, all right? So we're gonna give it a minute. We're gonna transition to the B. B. <laughs> Sting up. <laughs> okay, now for your B, what you guys are gonna do, you're gonna grab your smallest brush, okay? And we're gonna load it up with black. And the shape of that B looks kind of like, hmm, let's see, kind of like a raindrop. We'll say that at first. Okay, and I'll show you this when I'm all done. All right, looks like a raindrop or kind of like a, uh, hmm, like an Egyptian eye, sort of. All right. So, here you go. There's that basic shape, okay? You want to come in. It looks like a raindrop piercing that, piercing the end. See that? Oh, that's pretty, huh? Oh, I like me a nice bee, okay? So, you're going to take that. You're going to fill in your entire bee, just like this, all right? Just like that, okay? And then you guys are gonna add a little head on this B. All right, so let me show you what that looks like. 
Let me get this little sucker like this. Okay, and now we're going to add a little head on it. Boom. See his little head? Okay. Got a little, got a little button head. <laughs> nice little button head. Okay. And then you're just going to fill in that head for now. All right. Just like that. And while you guys, here you go, that's the shape of your bee, okay? Very tiny when it, you look at the perspective of your flower, all right? He's just in the end, just like that, okay? And what you guys are going to do next is you're going to dry off that bee, buzz buzz, all right? So grab your hand dryer. Ugh. be like a sleek little design all right maybe you want a nice fat honeybee and if that's the case then all you're gonna do is you're gonna give them a little more girth like this okay you're gonna take away the ring of stinger and then you're gonna give a little bit more girth like that so you guys decide do you want a big fat bee or do you want a nice little sleek design, okay? I myself, I like a big fat honeybee. I like him nice and fat. Woo! That's right. Makes more honey that way. All right? Give me that honeycomb. Oh, don't you sting me, bee. Okay? So that's the shape that you're going to use if you want a big fat bee. All right? Looks kind of like a... Uh, what are those things that the monarch eat? Oh, milkweed. Looks like a milkweed. Look at that. Okay. And again, we're going to dry that off. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to grab my little tip mouse, okay? Grab this little itty bitty, and I'm going to put white on it, all right? <laughs> I'm going to put a little white on it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little white stripe right here. Now, why are we using white and not yellow? Well, same reason, okay? We want that yellow to be nice and bright. So, we're going to do an underpainting with white, okay? So, there's my first yellow stripe. And then I'm going to move up just a little bit. Here we go. And I'm going to carve out another yellow stripe, just like this. Okay, fill that in. See that? Here's my other one. We're going to fill that in, just like this. Whoop. Here. Yep. Here. Okay. See that? There's number two. Okay. We're going to keep going up. We're going to put one right across the middle. That looks like this. Okay, and then you're going to fill that one in. There we go. Look at that. Ew. How's that looking? That looks like some kind of buzz, doesn't it? <laughs> and then we're going to add one more right on his little tail. 
And another little yellow stripe. Okay, keep that bee a buzzing. Look at that. Oh, he's kind of cute. Okay, and when you have all your stripes in there, if you feel like you made your stripes too big, you can just grab a little black and go over those stripes because black covers everything, doesn't it? Yes, it does. That's why we love it. Okay, look at that. And then, what I'm going to have you guys do next, once you get this white in, okay, we're going to give it the dryer. Hey, dryer. Dry off that white. And then, you're going to grab your little brush. Going to grab some of that bright old yellow. Okay. And you're going to go right over those white stripes. See that? There's number one. We're going to come in. We're going to paint over this white stripe with yellow. There's number two. Unos, dos, I always get Spanish and um, French mixed up. So, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, they all blend together. There we go. All those stripes are going to get nice and yellow. Just like this. See that? And then we're going to come in. We're going to do his last little bum stripe. There. Look at that. Boom. Alright. He looks a little bit like a woolly booger, doesn't he? <laughs> Nicole, you sure that's a bee? It looks like a woolly booger. <laughs> a woolly booger caterpillar. Okay, now, as I said, if you want to come in and clean up those stripes and add more black, this is when you would do that, okay? You come in Look at that. I'm going to clean up my stripe just by painting a little black over it. Look at that. Ooh. All right. There's no such thing as right or wrong because you guys can always go over it. That's the beauty of painting. You know? It's your world. Make it special. Okay? And when you guys are all done with your stripes and they absolutely love them, they look beautiful. They look like you want that bee to look just like that. What I'm going to have you guys do is I'm going to have you guys go back to the center of your sunflower. Okay? So, what you're going to do is you're going to take that brush with the smallest tip. And this time we're going to grab some brown on that brush. All right? And you're going to bring that brown. Whoop. You might need to freshen it up a little. The brown needs to be kind of juicy. Okay? Or you can just add some water to it. That works as well. Alright? Because these are all acrylic based pit, uh, paints. So if they start to get a little dry on you, all you guys have to do is just add a little water. Now what I'm doing now is I'm adding beautiful little brown dots in between my black ones. Okay? Check this out. Look at that. Oh! Okay, I'm not being perfect with these. Oh my gosh, no I'm not. Okay? All right, well, you know, let me see, watch us. Get one right there. Oh, give it a little more. Get, get, get. <laughs> okay, can you guys see that? So now we've got brown, 
we've got black right in the center of that green. Now what I'm going to have you guys do is wipe off that tip. You're going to grab a little white on it, just like this. Okay, and we're going to add a few white ones. Where? Yeah, in the center. Not very many. Okay, just like that. Okay, you want to add another few couple, look, look, whoops, not, that one's got a little thing on hand on it. Here we go. Boom, boom. All right, it's your world. Get in there. Do what you need to do. Okay, maybe I'll add one in here. Why? Because I feel like it. All right. And there you go. All right. Maybe I'll have a few more of these right here. Bring this out a little bit. There, 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 there. You add as many or as few of these little happy dots as makes your heart happy, okay? There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a sunflower center right there, everybody. <laughs> beautiful you guys okay now the next thing that I am going to have you guys do and we are nearing the finish line you guys ooh baby I know some of you got to work in the morning okay so what I'm going to have you guys do is you're going to grab your tiniest brush all right and I want you to dip it in your paint water and then you are going to squeeze it out so that you have a nice fine tip on it. See that? Just like that. We're going to squeeze it out. Okay? You guys are going to add a little bit of black on your tip. And the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to add in his little antennas. Can you see those little antennae? That's the first thing. Now a bee has, I believe, six legs. So we're gonna come in one, one set of legs right here. Okay, can you guys see those? There's my first set of legs. Okay. And then we're gonna add in another set of legs right here, boom bum. All right, these cute little muffin legs right here. See that? Beautiful. Okay, and then what I'm going to have you do in the back is we're going to start at this yellow and we're going to bring in these legs. Can you see that? There's number one right at that yellow and here's number two just like that so we've got one two three sets of legs on both sides I'm just cleaning up this stripe a little Okay, one, two, three sets of legs, and a little antenna. Always a neat cunning. He's awful cute, isn't he? He looks like a little beetle bug. <laughs> a little beetle bug, woolly booga. All right, now what we're going to do is you guys are going to dry him off, okay? Because we don't want that black getting in our wings. No sorry, when he did me. guys now what we're gonna do next you guys is you guys well I keep saying you guys is you're gonna take a little bit of your paint water 
Okay, first time. This was very nice. I'm so glad, sweet love. Yes, it does look like the shape of a light bulb, Cindy. <laughs> Christmas light. <laughs> okay, you guys are going to take a little bit of paint water. You're going to drip it into that white because what we're going to create is we're going to create a wash. All right? Now, what I, mean, I want you to see this. What a wash is, okay, is it's basically watered down paint. And what you want it to be is you want it to be just a little thicker than milk. You don't want it to be so thin that it drips on your canvas. So you want it to be a little thicker than milk, just a tiny bit, okay? But the reason that we make a wash is because it's translucent, right? So we like that because what it does is you'll be able to see through those wings. So that's why we like it nice and translucent. Okay, so this is what my wash looks like. Can you guys see this? I know, Nicole, your paint plate is so crazy. All right, I've just loosened it up. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to come in here Okay, and I'm going to start right from the center of that honeybee. All right, and here we go. Woo, here comes one wing. Okay, now if you go over your leg like I just did, no worries, we'll bring it back later. All right, looks like my wash is a little thin, so I'm going to add a little bit more white paint to it. Okay. And what you guys are going to do is you're going to paint in your first wing. And let me show you what that wing looks like. All right? So it comes from the center of that belly. But see, can you see how you can see through it? Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's cool. All right? And that's what we want. We want translucent wings. So then... What we're going to do is what we do on one side, we have to do on the other. Okay? So you guys are going to come in and you're going to paint in this other wing on the other side. All right, there's that. Beautiful. There you go. Wingy, wingy, woo. Okay, can you guys see that? There's your other wing. Oh my goodness, it's so translucent. I love it. It's hard to get the right balance because you want it enough so that it's translucent, but you don't want it so that it's dripping. My daughter will love it. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome, Tammy P. Can I rewatch later? Absolutely, you can, honey. It's going to be on my page of my YouTube channel. Artful Nights Maine, okay? Now, you've got those two wings in. Now you're going to add in your second wing. And your second wing is kind of hidden by that first wing. Can you see that? So there's that second wing. It kind of slips right underneath that first wing. Okay? And then you guys are going to come in and you're going to add in the last wing. So you got one, two, three, four. And they're all translucent. You've got your first two that are like that, and then the second two are underneath, okay? All right. Why, thank you, Nelda. That is so nice of you to say. You're a joy, honey. Thank you, sweet love. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do next, you're going to make a very light gray. All right? And that happens when you add white and black together, you're going to make a nice light gray or a medium gray. doesn't matter, just a gray. Okay, you're going to put that on your little bubba. And here we go. You're going to outline your first wing. Okay. And maybe I want to make that a little darker. I do. So I'm going to add a little bit more black to my gray. Because I really want to be able to see the outline of that wing. Alright. 
Here's that. All right. So we're going to outline this wing. Ooh, here comes this wing, you dingy. Can you see that? Beautiful. All right. And we're going to outline this wing, just like this. Okay, here comes that wingy dingy. And then you guys are gonna come in, you're gonna outline this back wing back here. Is that wingy dingy? And then you're gonna outline this one. There we go. There. See, so now all of our wings are outlined. Okay, if you want to, you can pull in another little B leg right about here. Okay, eh, well, not a good place for it, but there we go. All right, now the last thing that you guys are going to do on this honeybee, okay, we're going to come in. And you guys are going to paint in the veins of that wing. All right? Get that brush nice and tiny. Okay? And here we go. Here's the veins. On one side. And here's the vein on the other side, just like this. Okay? And then we're going to add two little veins in the back. Straight line and just do, do, do. Okay. And then there you go. And guess what, you guys? Your bee is beautiful. Buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> Your masterpiece is complete, you guys. Okay? You can put your famous artist signature on the lower left or right-hand corner. That's the same artist signature you're going to use for the rest of your life. So make sure it's a good one because when they put your thing in the Guggenheim, this is how they're going to identify you. All right? There you go. There you go, you guys. Yes, this beautiful uh, painting is going to be on my Facebook right after this. So much fun. Yay! And, uh, you know, guys, I've debated about telling you guys this, but I'm going to tell you. Okay? Because um, I've learned in 40-something years that sometimes we have to ask for help. <laughs> And I never do because I'm so strong. Um, but uh, tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock, um, I have got to go to the hospital. And I, am, uh, I have a surgery tomorrow. So, you guys, if you could, you're going to send me all your love and your light, all right? Just do that for me tomorrow morning. And, um, and we're hoping for all good news because my birthday's on Tuesday. And you guys can't get bad news before your birthday. Okay, so, um, yeah, so you guys, uh, give me some love tomorrow, and we're hoping for all good things, and on Sunday, I am going to have great news. Everything is going to be great. All right, I love you guys. Next couple days, I might be busy, so I may not be able to get to your pictures right off, but um, I love you guys, and I'm going to see you on Sunday, okay? Mwah! Bye, everybody!